Hey everyone. everyone. It's time for another Pick, Pick of the Week! week. Yay! <laughs> uh, this is a very special edition of Pick of the Week. It's John's birthday. <laughs> I'm Hi. 32, yay! Yay! <laughs> so be sure to come down and say happy birthday. Um, very exciting day. We also got a new shipment in today. Uh, so we got lots of comics for to peruse. So many comics, John couldn't decide. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we got a few picks for you. Um, so maybe I'll let you start us off. Okay, yeah. I couldn't decide. Uh, it's been a little while since we did one, so I got I got three here. So we got the Timeless second printing in. It's got a great cover with the, the new Punisher on it. But, uh, yeah, I thought this was just a one-shot that was setting up, like, what's going on in the Marvel Universe. But actually, it's it functions as a pretty good story as well about Kang. And if you like time travel and Kang, it, uh, it's like a deep dive into, like, who he is as a person. He takes his autobiographer around with him, who was, like, doing something on Doom, but he's kind of, like, jealous, so he takes him with him. And it's it's just a lot of fun, you know? They travel through different dimensions and time periods. It's got great art, and it does set up the next year in Marvel. So, yeah, time was number one, second printing. Grab it. Number two is uh, Batman Killing Time, new Tom King series. It's a six-issue miniseries about Batman. It takes place in, like, year two, so it kind of lines up with the movie. So if you're interested in that, it's, you know, it's got the Penguin, it's got the Riddler, it's got Catwoman. So, you know, they're really putting this out in a timely fashion. But, uh, yeah, it's really good. It's, like, about a heist. And uh, Killer Croc makes an appearance, which is always fun. And uh, the art is stellar. And uh, there's a lot of mysteries, so hopefully they'll tie them up in the six issues. But, yeah, you should really check this one out. Batman Killing Time. And, yeah, I could do this all day. Uh, <laughs> This is my real pick of the week, though. It's Step by Bloody Step. I've been waiting for this book for so long. So it's by um, Cy Spurrier and uh, Mateus Bergara and Matt Lopez on colors. And it has no words. So it's all art. And it's about this giant, armored giant that has this child. And they're, like, trekking through this fantasy world. And all these things are trying to kill the kid. And the giant is, like, its protector. And it is, it is just a marvel. Like, look at this. Like, look at them fighting over in the corner. All the snow, the reflection in the water. It is a really good book. I'm not going to flip too far into it because it, I would get into some spoils. And it's only a four-issue miniseries. And just look at this. This is, this is some top-notch stuff from some really great creators. Um, Cy Spurrier and Mateus Bergara, they did a comic before called Coda. And, uh... They, they got nominated for the Eisner and they didn't win it, but I think this time they're probably going to win it because this thing is something special. You should definitely check it out. Step by buddy step. It's up to you now. Awesome. <laughs> yes, um, speaking of Batman, we have a new display to kind of show off some of our Batman comics and books. Um, I hear the new movie's pretty good. It is very good. You should go see it. Also, you should pick up The Long Halloween. It uh, definitely inspires a lot of the movie with like its mysteries and its... The, ca the cast of characters, it's, it's, they're kind of like, you could tell that somebody read that and was like, let's make a movie. Um, cool. So yeah, my pick of the week, uh, is very fun. It's Kinjira from Scout Comics. Um, it is kind of like Step by Bloody Step, there's not a lot of words. Um, uh, and it's about a monster. Um, but it's very fun. It's very silly. Um, uh, about this, like, monster who just, like, is upset because he's not getting pizza. Um, so... Very fun, just like really cool use of color. Um, and let me see if I can find some just awesome art piece in it. It's just very fun and cool. So, and who doesn't like monsters and pizza? A great combination. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess now we'll do, we got a little giveaway for our Pickless Pals. So. <laughs> So we got Step by Bloody Step, number one. Check it out. Wastelanders, Star-Lord, number one. Whoever that is. No. <laughs> <laughs> and Nightwing, 86. Um, just kidding. Um, John knows who Star-Lord is. Maybe. <laughs> um, Let's see here. Who could it be? 54, George Kirkland. George Kirkland, congratulations. We'll put these in your box. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. I uh, hope y'all having a, a lovely March and we'll see y'all next week. Take care.